Hello everyone. So today's video is not really about Emacs. Don't worry. I'm I'm not really going to talk about Emacs or publishing today. But uh, I'm making this video actually for a friend and also I thought okay, let me just uh, let me just also, you know, record. Or basically I was talking to a friend and showing some CSS stuff and I thought okay, I should also make a video on this topic because it is extremely simple thing to do and uh, uh, I think if you're trying to develop your own website, which I think you should, you should also try to do a bit of CSS. I mean, you can probably get away, you can ignore JavaScript, but I think HTML and CSS is probably in most cases, I would say 80, 90% of cases is probably going to be enough for, of course, doing simple sites. Not really. I'm not, I'm not really talking about like complicated websites. Now this is the website which I have built using a nothing but org mode and uh, a bit of CSS, little bit of JavaScript, not really a lot. For example, if I uh, want to show you, if I have to show you this uh, drop down menu that will appear on the mobile phone. Of course, it is not perfect, but I'm happy with it. Now today I thought I'll, I'll show you something very, very simple, very basic and uh, I'm sure you you will find it useful. Now let us say, now if you look at this particular uh, site here, on top I have this uh, this menu, right? Main navigation menu. Now this main navigation menu, it could be, if I, if I show you the code, let me just show you the code. If I do inspect element, it is nothing but uh, these, uh, these links, right? So basically this first link, which is uh, which is the logo, then second link, third link and, and so on. And then I'm using, you know, CSS to, to make it look like a menu. But I also have one more menu or which is not really a menu yet. I'm going to convert it to a menu. Now, if you notice here on the very bottom in the footer, I have this home sidebar, sitemap, blocks, Twitter. Now my goal is to make it look like this menu on top. Of course, this is collapsed right now, but uh, let me just uh, do this. Okay, so I, I, this is my goal that I want to make it look like a bar, horizontal bar. So let us do that. I know it is basic CSS, but uh, uh, if you don't know how to do it for some reason, I'm sure if you're new to HTML CSS, you will find it useful. So I have this ally and uh, by the way, if you're new to doing these things, you can actually do it using browser and then copy and paste the CSS to the relevant file. So just right, right click on it on the menu and first take a look at the structure, how it is structured right now. So right now it is structured as, uh, let me just take a look at this. I, I'll probably zoom in a bit more. Okay. So right now this is nothing but uh, these uh, allies, which is under uh, this, uh, div called nav and which is also under this big div called post amble and this is coming from emacs so what i will do i will first uh, convert this uh, vertical list to horizontal list and then of course we'll make it make the whole thing up look like a menu with of course a nice background so let us see how, how, how we can do that and i'm also doing it after a while so you know uh, Please forgive me if I do some mistakes. I'll not, I'll not do any mistakes. I do a lot of work in CSS. This is what I used to do for a long time, but I'm not really an expert by the way. So let us convert this li to horizontal. So if you click on this plus sign here, it will give you the it will give you the, the ability to write CSS. Now I don't really want to do it for all the allies. I want to do it only for the ally under the post temple. So the post temple here is uh, ID. So basically what we'll do, we'll use their hash post amble li and I want to do something like uh, float left right and you can as you can see it is now a bit messed up and we will fix it don't worry about it I'll probably zoom in a bit more a bit more okay and uh, I will now let me just you know bring it on top so you can see it properly I'll just move my beautiful face somewhere here all right so this is the menu item which is now messed up, but we'll, we are going to fix it. The other thing that, that I want to do is I want to add, where is my ally? Okay, this one. So I, I will basically remove the list style so you can do none. 
and now it is also already looking good then the next thing i want to do i want to basically add some spacing in between so a simple way to add spacing like to save time is to do something like padding five pixel but you can also do padding five pixel and you can also you it can actually have four arguments so you can do five pixel 10 pixel uh 20 pixel and uh 20 pixel and oh, come on 20 pixel and then five pixel again so you, you can actually do it for all the coordinates but to keep things simple i'll just do five pixel right this is perfect now it is already looking good but as you can see this uh, if you look at this uh, uh, because the copyright which is like another row uh, is now overlap like not overlapping but it is now coming up so i can go to my ul and i can add here uh, basically something like okay post amble and in my ul i can add overflow hidden and now we are good and now it is like a separate row you can go back to the li or ul it is now a separate row now while we're doing it why not also add like a background color to the ul so let us say the background color is uh, what else i can do so i can probably do my brownish color this which is my theme and this is looking good so far but i want to also add the links i want to make it appear like white in white color and maybe i will add a ho over like on hover so i'll do inspect again and i can add here uh, oh there is already this a link and a visit and by the way you have to do it for a colon link and a colon visited because if you have visited if the if the per, if the visitor has visited a link then it will appear in a, in a different color so what we can do we can add here post amble for both the link and visited link a link and post amble and we will add here uh, something wrong post amble i think yeah we are fine we are fine okay so we want to add uh, link color no, no no not link color just color color i want to add white okay this is looking good now i also want to remove this underscore underscore underline basically i can say something like text decoration and i can do none so as you can see it is already looking good the last thing that i want to do is i want to go back to the li and i want to maybe add something like hash post amble li over and let us do color not color background color background maybe background okay black and let us see how it looks so it looks like a proper menu now so now you can see you can actually build a nice menu and it looks quite good it is of course you know similar to what we have on top and uh, of course if you want you can actually show it vertically you can do it using javascript as well i mean i've used a little bit of javascript just to change the class but i think it looks good i'm happy with this what do you think let me know i, I know it is not really super complicated but i think doing simple css is all you need if you are trying to be a build i think you should do simple css and uh, there are plenty of examples online if you go to uh I think there are sites like JS Fiddle. I, I, I never really had to use them, but I sometimes, you know, if I'm doing something a bit more complicated, I try to uh, pick up the CSS from those places. But nothing much has changed in CSS, or at least the basics, uh, since I started building websites. But if you're trying to learn website development, start with HTML, then CSS, and then of course move on to JavaScript. And I think if you know these things, these three things really well, or at least good enough i think that is all you need and uh, i think we all if, if, if we talk about uh, software development right in general i think we all should know i think html css should be like elementary things <laughs> uh, i don't really think uh, we learned html in our college uh, there was no maybe the, yeah I, I remember there was a there was a course it was not really focused on just html it was probably some i forgot the name of the course but we did learn few things when i was in college we learned c and c plus plus and that is it that was the two languages that we focused on and we learned but uh, i think html i'm sure in the engineering colleges or when you do computer science or any other computer course i think html css is probably 
always there. All right, that is it. That is it, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.